poppin everybody hope you're having a super blessed day and the georgia bulldogs are on another level now everybody knows that the georgia bulldogs have been absolutely crushing it in the class of 2024 already having the number one recruiting class and they're going to lock that up by far this season and as we should all know georgia's known for having two things ridiculously scary defensive players and some of the most talented running backs we've ever seen grace a college football field. And it is no different in the class of 2024. The Georgia Bulldogs have landed three of the best RBs in the class. And guys, we're going to have to take a look because this three-headed monster that Georgia's going to be bringing into the backfield could be breaking a huge difference to the Georgia Bulldogs moving forward. So all my UGA fans, leave this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below who is your favorite RB out of these three and who do you guys think is going to get the most playing time once they get to Athens I love to hear you guys' comments we're back in the saddle let's get straight into it love and appreciate all y'all let's go three two one Starting it off, the Bulldogs brought in the 10th best. You know it's crazy when you're starting off with bringing in the 10th best RB in the class. Class of 2024, four-star RB, Chauncey Bowens. Standing at 5'11", 220 pounds. This dude runs a legitimate 4440 at that size. And as you can see, he's got more than enough speed to get up and get away from defenders. A. My guy, Chauncey Bowen, so he actually was the, I believe he was the first RB to commit to UGA in this class. He's been there. Obviously, there's been a lot of other talent that's come in this, in this class at the RB position. But out of the guys that we're going to take a look at, he brings the most traditional, well-balanced RB. He's that 5'11", 200-pound bell, or just workhorse of a running back. Yeah, we're taking that. Shroop, nope, get up off you. You're not, you're not bringing me down, little boy. What you thought this was? Uh, then just pulls away from him like it's nothing. Look at the vision. Look, look at the patience right here. Look at him. Get the ball. All right, where are we going? Cut, cuts out. Shroop, nope. Second cut. Stays up somehow, and then gets away. Wait, no, no, my man's going crazy out here. Hey, Chauncey Bowens, the 10th best RB in the class of 2024, is now a Georgia Bulldog. This is just the first RB in the trio that we're going to be taking a look at today. Nice block, quarterback. Next up, we have legitimately, I'm being dead serious, one of the fastest players in the class of 2024. You see these times, 10-4-3 in the 100 and 4-2-8 in the 40. I'm, of course, talking about the eighth best RB in the class of 2024 coming out of the great state of, I forgot, my guy Dwight Phillips Jr., the eighth best RB, standing at 5'11", 170 pounds. This dude is an absolute rocket out of the backfield. I haven't seen a player with this level of speed in the class of 2024 yet. I've seen other players who are comparable in speed, but when you're talking about just pure get up and go, I mean, look at him just hit that, hit the edge, and then just boom, accelerate, and is gone. Absolutely gone out of the frame. He is going to bring a different level of utility to the Georgia Bulldogs. So he was listed as an athlete, and then they, they did have him ranked as an RB. If you go on his 24-7 account, he's listed as both a wide receiver and an RB. Either way, he's going to be making big-time plays. He plays my primarily RB at, at the high school ranks. At that 5'11", 170-pound weight, though, he's going to be used more like a utility player. I would love to see Georgia find ways to use him out of the backfield and in the slot as well. Look at the... just. Look at the look at the footwork. He said, ah, "Nope, swoop, no, nope, get him off you." Swoop, yep, yep, got him. And then pull away, pull away, pull away, pull away, pull away. Nope, can't get him. Pull away, pull away, and is uh, gone. Let's go. My guy is an absolute track star on the field. I mean, just one cut and go. Like his his acceleration is truly what makes him special. Dwight Phillips Jr. has all three levels of speed. He's got the short burst, he's got the quick acceleration, and then he's also got the long speed. A lot of guys, you know, they might be really bursty, but then when you when they get two or three yards, like then the, the, the acceleration kind of slows down. You got other guys who might not be as shifty, but they got great acceleration, but only to a specific top end. But then you got guys who it's going to take them five hours to get there, but when you let them get to the top end speed, they're absolutely uncatchable. Dwight Phillips has all three levels of speed. 
like I said, he's gonna be, to me, he's the biggest X factor out of all three of these guys. He could absolutely change how Georgia runs their offense. If he's able to be used like a Christian McCaffrey, how he was at Stanford, where you find ways to get him the ball out of the backfield, maybe not so much exclusively as our, at, a, at an RB position, because Georgia's gonna have the supporting cast to allow him to take breaks out of the backfield. But if he shows consistent hands to be able to use in the slot, and is able to run some angle routes out of the backfield, some wheel routes, and then you get him some, some stretch plays to the outside, he could be an absolute game changer because you do not, you're, you just, you can't teach speed that Dwight Phillips Jr. has. Bounce to the outside and, uh, swoop, nope. Yeah, get up off me. Yep, spin move. Let's go. And last but certainly not least, the third head to this three-headed monster. That is the Georgia Bulldogs 2024. Wait, hold up a second. My guy's going crazy out here. This is four-star RB and the fourth best running back in the country, Nathan Frazier, coming out of modern-day high school. This guy is 5'11", 208 pounds, and he runs somewhere in the low 4.5s to high 4.4s. I mean, look at the burst. Quick feet. Absolutely shifty as all get out. Plays for one of the best teams in the entire country. Nate Frazier is an absolute dog, literally and figuratively. My guy is one of the just most well-rounded RBs. He doesn't have the bigger frame that Chauncey Bowens has at 220, but 208 ain't no, it's no small for either, especially in a 5'11 package. Get him up off of you, nope, nope. And then he's got, to me, he's got the best burst. My guy, my guy, uh, Dwight Phillips has the the most smooth burst, but Nate Frazier, when he finds a when he finds a crease, he is gone. Like absolutely gone. This is one of the to me, he's gonna be the guy that everybody else is gonna have to play around. He is the guy that you're gonna be building your offense around. This is this is the guy that's gonna be the workhorse guy that's getting the prep the majority of the touches because he gives you everything that you that you're looking for. He really does. I, I want to see more of him out of the backfield as far as catching the ball, because as we should all know, because we've been just seeing all the videos about how the RP position is dead. You do need to be able to catch the ball out of the backfield if you're going to be playing running back in the modern era. But I think Nate Frazier can do it all. I mean, this kid literally whatever you ask him to do, he will do it. I mean, just look at the burst. And again, fourth best RB. So Georgia right now has the fourth eighth and 10th best RB in the class of 2024. Like that is unreal stacking at one specific position. Georgia is always going to keep themselves a super talented RB. Get him a ball for you. Get him a ball for you. Hold on a second. Now break that, break that. Nope. Swoop. Let's go. <laughs> My guy is going crazy out here. Hey, talk your talk, Nate Frazier. And I love that he trusts his speed. Like, for example, on a play like this, look at how it's just a straight vertical. A lot of guys, they would see this and they would threaten to attack this, but then they're gonna go try and bounce this to the outside because they just they just want to get to the sideline. It's their friend. Nope, he trusted his speed, just gets straight vertical, tries to split that and gets as many yards as possible. I love to see that from running backs. Nope, swoop, yep, ankles. Oh, that's a face mask too. Let's go. So those are the three absolute monsters that the Georgia Bulldogs brought in in the class of 2024. After taking a look at all three of these guys back to back to back, I like Chauncey Bowens because he gives you the most traditional RB feel. He's got the 5'11", 220 pound college ready frame. He's, he's ready to step onto the field day one and able to handle a 200, 300 carry uh, season. Just his frame can do that. Nate Frazier, to me, is that new style of college football running back where he's got the uber explosiveness, but he's not overly big. He's he's as big as he needs to be to be able to take some hits, but he's not too big to where it's going to be slowing him down. He's got all the athleticism, all the shiftiness, and all the burst that you would want from a top-tier college running back. And then my guy, Dwight Phillips, He's the biggest X factor, like I said. To me, at 5'11", 170, he's gonna be able to play some in the backfield. I mean, five, he's gonna bump up to about 185 once he gets to Georgia. He's got enough size to be getting some meaningful touches at RB, but he's also just so explosive. Again, running sub 4'3 in high school. 
like that is elite level speed to be able to use that in some versatility you can get them on some jet sweeps some tosses you can get some lead blockers out in front of them you can just get them some angle routes so there's just so many different ways that you can use a player like dwight phillips jr it's going to be interesting to see how the georgia offensive staff just uses all three of these guys but to me the fact that Georgia got the 4th, 8th, and 10th best running back in the country is absolutely insane. All my UGA fans, comment down below who is your favorite pickup out of these three guys. Be sure to leave this video a like and hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any of the fire content that we drop on the channel. I love and appreciate each and every single last one of y'all. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.